it's me, Alice. Um, so this is week 13 of Professor Flitwick's psych class vlog project thing. <laughs> and um, this week our prompt is kind of different. Um, I'm not actually sure, Flitwick, if you wanted us to say it beforehand or after we did it, but I'm going to assume that if anyone has watched any other videos because I post on Fridays that they probably already know the deal so I'm going to explain it now first anyway because it shouldn't be giving away a surprise and I hope that's okay um, but the prompt is to take a mundane object just pick any one and to describe it and I think to try to make it interesting and we're supposed to describe it in a way that doesn't directly say what the object is, but would let people guess it, what it is. Um, and I don't know if the point of the activity is to try to see the beauty in simple things, or if it's a study to see how different people describe different things or what people focus on. I just know that I have tried to film this several times and I feel ridiculous. <laughs> doing it um but here we go um so my object is very soft um it's comparable to kitten fur maybe it's really really soft it's light blue kind of like um like how the sky is over the Great Lake in spring and the beginning of summer. Um, it makes you think of warm sunny days and it's really pretty. <laughs> and the gray is really light too. It's, it's a soft faded color. The whole thing is kind of soft and faded and I'm not completely sure if it's faded from where or if it's faded because that's how it was designed or maybe if it's a bit of both but I like it <laughs> um, if you look at it really closely you can see that there's a bunch of tiny patterns and it's a bunch of almost almost V-like it's almost lines and lines of little tiny V's all set together and you can't really tell from far away unless you're looking really, really close up at it that they're there. Because they all work together to make this one big, well, not really big, I mean size is relative, but this object that from far away you don't see all the details, but if you look really close you can. And um, on some edges there are little ridges, and they, if you stretch it, they... Um, expand kind of like an accordion um, but it's not an accordion and like I said size is relative so for some people it would be too small um, for me it's way too big but it doesn't feel too big I mean it looks it but it feels it feels just right um, when I wear it, I feel like I am wrapped in a big hug, and there's something about it that just makes you feel so safe and happy and warm, and it's really kind of magical for something mundane. Um, I think my favorite part about it, though, might be um, its smell. It smells. It smells like home. Uh, it doesn't actually smell like my home, um, but it kind of smells like what I would imagine a home smelled like if if the feeling of home had a scent. Um, just the feeling of comfort and safety and happiness. I feel like it would smell like this. I mean, it smells kind of like out the outdoors. Um, 
and kind of smells like freshly cut grass and crisp fresh air and it smells a little bit like shampoo really nice shampoo um, minty almost and just if sunshine and happiness and warmth had a smell the object would smell like it and it just smells really nice <laughs> it brings a lot of memories it's it's funny how such simple mundane things can be really nothing on their own but through having them with you through experiences and by making them link to memories and people they become so much more um, so I don't know if I've described it nearly well enough for anyone to guess what it is but it is actually a sweater um, it's one of Frank's sweaters actually I was over at his place the other night and it was cold because we're at that weird phase in spring where it's really warm one minute and then at night it gets really cold and I hadn't been expecting it and so he found me a sweater that was a bit small for him and I put it on and it was still <laughs> way too big and I was pretty much swimming in it but um, it was warm though I mean it wasn't as warm as um, shared body heat, but um, it was very nice. It was really sweet of him, and he made the mistake of letting me wear it home, or, well, to my dorm, <laughs> and he may never be getting it back now. <laughs> um, it's mine now. This is actually what it looks like. Um, as you can see, it's kind of a bit big for me, um, but it's really cozy and I like it a lot, um, and it's mine now. And I may let him wear it every once in a while so that it keeps the nice smell that it has because it smells like him and um, the other things that I mentioned. Um, but. I think it's going to be a very nice permanent addition to my closet. So that is my mundane object that is less mundane because it has very, very happy memories now tied to it and because it has a special person tied to it. Um, so. I think that's all for this week, and I'll see you guys next week.